Hello Internet, it is the day after the Sutton Coalfield Regional Championships over here in the UK uh, which turned out to be quite an interesting day I suppose uh, Before we do anything in this video though, we're just going to give you a few updates um, a bit of a heads up really, because from tomorrow, Monday uh, there's going to be a best of three with Aaron Cybertron Zeng going up so I hope you're looking forward to that um, It was a very interesting set, so you know, please do watch that um, I'm just going to run through what happened yesterday though first before we look at this game because you can see we've got a game um, lined up to watch here. <laughs> so I was using my gravity team, um, you know, feeling confident with it, very very comfortable with it. Uh, there were seven rounds of Swiss, um, I went 1-0, then actually lost the second round. Um, the person did say he watched my channel so maybe he had some sort of plan. So I was 1-1, but then 2-1, 3-1, 4-1. Um, going into the 6th round, the 6th round was the only game in the tournament that I didn't take my Whimsicott and if I had, I would have won the game. So I was kicking myself because if I'd gone 5-1, I would have definitely had championship points, very good chance of being in the top 16 and would have had my world's invite because the top 16 at this tournament would have given me my world's invite. So I was 4-2 going into the last round of Swiss and I needed to win it. Now I was paired up to Joseph Richardson, who was 5-1, who is, you know, the monster that is dominating Europe at the moment. So, you know, some people were thought that's all, you know, unlucky and all the rest of it. But uh, when we got into the team preview, he was using the same team that I've played him with before, and I feel really comfortable. So, um, like, it was kind of unfortunate for him as well, because he needed to win to top cup, basically. So it was a must win for both of us. But as you can see, um, we are going to have a look at this game. Um, I used my normal DS, not the capture card DS, to um, enter the tournament. So I've done my best to use a webcam to record the game here. The animations aren't on either. Um, even if I sort of put the animations on in the game, unfortunately they don't come on for some reason. Probably because it was recorded. Um, you know, I, I entered the tournament while the, the setting was off, but whatever. Um, so this is my last round against Joseph Richardson. So let's get into it. There we go. So, he leads with Groudon Thunderous. I was kind of worried about his Ferrothorn lead, because that's the only thing he's really got that can one-shot my Kira. Um, if you don't know, he had the um, Double Primal, so Groudon Kyogre, he had Thunderous and Salamence, and he had Amoongus and Ferrothorn. Now, he does not have any Ice Resists on his team, so I did feel quite comfortable leading with Kira here. So, you can see, um, you know, I'll play the video again, there we go. We can see... Uh, primal reversion, etc. And I'm feeling okay because let's just wait for this to go through. There we go. I'm feeling quite good because I know that my Kiram is going to get paralyzed here, but um, you know, as much as I don't really like that, I'm I'm okay with that because there's a three in four chance that um, I will get a blizzard off and I will do a lot of damage. And unless the Groudon has got eruption, which they don't really tend to, I didn't expect him to have it. Um, there's nothing he can do to basically allow me to, if I did get fully paralyzed, go for a quash and another blizzard on the next turn. So, you know, I'm feeling pretty, pretty comfortable with my position here. None of these Pokemon, neither of them are going to want to take a blizzard. So, let's see what happens. Here's his sun. I'm expecting the Thunder Wave. And here it is. So he paralyzes my Kira. I use gravity and uh, I get fully paralyzed. So, like I was saying, that is always a potential. Is there is a one in four chance? It is unlucky, obviously, but there is you know, there is always that chance. But unless he doesn't get any critical hits here with Presbyterian Blades, he's not going to knock either of my Pokémon out, which he didn't. So next turn, like I was saying, I'm free to quash here onto the Groudon because I know that the Thunderous can't knock out my Kieran with a, a Thunderbolt here. So I could quash the quash the Thunderous. He goes for a Thunderbolt, knocking out my Sableye. That's fine. And I can get a blizzard off and do a heavy chunk to... Oh, no, I can't. To both of his Pokemon. Um, I get fully paralyzed for a second turn. Um, now, this is even more annoying because um, after watching the stream back, his Thunderous does not have a Focus Sash, which I was expecting it to have. It's actually a Citrus Berry. And I'm pretty sure even the Bulky Thunderous will not survive a Kieran's Blizzard. So if I just got one of those Blizzards off, the Thunderous would have gone down, which would have been a big help, and his Groudon would have been left at about 50%, definitely in Precipice Blades range from my own Groudon. So, very, very, very frustrating first two turns here. Very frustrating. But, 
you know, you can't give up. You know, like I said, it is a must-win game for me. If I win this game, I've got my invite. So I've got to carry on. I've got to see what I can do here. I have got gravity up, which is the good thing. And I do have Whimscott in this game too. So maybe it will we'll let the Primal version go through. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm not in the worst of position, but I do know that my back is very, very, very far against the wall now. Um, we've just got to see what can happen. So basically, here... I go for a Grass Whistle onto the Thunderous because the last thing I want is him taunting my Whimsicott. My Whimsicott taunted means I can't do anything. And there we go, so it's asleep. And his Groudon uses Precipice Blades. So now I know that our Groudon's speed tie and I get my Sword Stance up. I get my Sword Stance because I know that he will have his Kyogre in the back. And I do need a precipice blade to knock it out in one a um, a sword stance to knock it out in one hit. So I had no choice there. I had to go for the sword stance. So we're sitting at plus two now. The next turn, um, it's like I'm thinking what what is the best case scenario for me because I know that the the um, the Groudon speed tie. I could grass whistle the Groudon here to make sure that my Groudon goes first and knocks it out. But I'm expecting this Thunderous to have a Focus Ash. So I thought, and you know, just in case the uh, Groudon protects as well, I'll go for a Moonblast here onto the um, Thunderous, which does knock it out. And I thought, well, you know, I'm already in a, a bad position. I need to win a Speed Tie. I need to get some sort of luck. And I win this Speed Tie. So at least, you know, I won, I won one Speed Tie. So, and knock out both of his Pokemon. So all of a sudden, I'm in Gravity. I've got my Whimsicott. And I've got a plus two Groudon. So... It depends what his last Pokemon are. Now, I, I'm expecting a Kyogre, and I am really expecting the Kyogre to be bulky enough to survive a plus two Precipice Blades. Unfortunately, he's brought Salamence along with him as well. Now, at this point, uh, Jose, I think he might have been sort of rocked as to like what had happened in the game so far and how lucky he'd been with those uh, paralysis. He actually said to me, um, I still think you win this game from here. And I was like, I don't think I do. I can't see any way that I can win this game, you know, barring critical hits, etc. Um, I think, let's just get the uh, primal versions and everything. Um, I think he expected a Moonblast from my Whimsicott to knock out his Sableye, his um, Solomons in one hit. Um, let's wait for the uh, Mega Evolution and everything as well. Because this turn, obviously his Solomons hasn't Mega Evolved as it came in. So my Whimsicott is faster on this one turn and would be able to get a Moonblast onto it. But I do know that Moonblast from my Whimsicott onto even a naive Mega Salamence does a maximum of about 98%. So it doesn't knock it out, unfortunately. So if I did get that critical hit, if I'd knocked the Salamence out, then my plus one Groudon um, would have a single target attack on this Kyogre. But I still think I would need a critical hit there. So in going for a, a Moonblast, I would need two critical hits to win this game. So what we went for is... Uh, well, I mean, really, I don't think there's any way that I can win this game. I went for a Grass Whistle onto the Salamence and just hoped that maybe a critical hit would knock out the Kyogre. Even, I suppose, a single target there would have knocked it out um, with a critical hit. It would have been close, single target-wise. Maybe I should have gone for the critical hit Moonblast onto the Salamence uh, because we are still in gravity. The Origin Pulse can't miss, and uh, he just seals up the game from there, basically. So with a, a, a critical hit on my Whimsicott to um, rub that in as well. I suppose... If Whimsicott had survived that, then maybe I could have Grass Whistled the Kyogre the next turn, hoped the Salamence stayed asleep, Moon Blasted that to knock it out, um, and then played around with like protecting on on him waking up and going for a, a Grass Whistle. And So if, if Whimsicott had survived this turn, maybe it wasn't 100% over, but it probably was over. Um, but you know, as, as you've seen, it just came down to um, really those blizzards in the first two turns, those two full paralysis. So yeah, I was very annoyed uh, at the end of the game, as as hopefully you can um, you know respect. Um, and Joseph, like you know, I I'm sorry to him as well because he was in a in a horrible position as well because he knew that that was my invite, but he did need the win to at least get something from this tournament as well. Joseph, um, I'm glad he did actually go on to win the tournament as well. So him taking this win. Um, you know, he got something from the tournament and he does need a paid invite to go to Worlds as well. Joseph, he is, I think he is the first person, maybe even ever, to win three regionals in one season. That is very impressive. If Joseph does go to Worlds, he is going to be one of the players to look out for, really, really. So, uh, interesting game. Um, really unlucky for me. 
Uh, my resistance turned out to be alright, so um, even though I lost this last game as well, I did finish in the top 32, so I got some championship points. Um, I think I'm owed about 6 or 10 from the last international challenge. Let's say it's 6. Then I think I've written down I need 26 points for my invite, so hopefully a few like Premier Challenges and I'll get that, but you know, I'll worry about that a different day. So thanks a lot for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed you know, looking at this and um, you know, learning what happened yesterday. Um, but yeah, look forward, you know, subscribe so you don't miss it. Look forward to the games with Cybertron um, starting tomorrow. So thanks a lot, guys, and goodbye for now.